Hey guys, just headed down to the local Daiso, which is a, a Japanese kind of dollar store. They do sell some more expensive things than a dollar, but I picked up this, which cost me about 108 yen. That's basically a dollar plus 8% tax. And it's one of those hand grip sort of generating torches, the flashlight where you've got the generator inside and you've got the lever that you push. So I thought we'll pull it apart and see what's inside. It's only a dollar, so I might find some useful parts. We can use in some other projects. It tells me it's a, uh, a luminous yellow colour, hand powered two LED light. On the back we've just got turn on to light, there's a switch there to turn it on and off. Uh, you've got the grip that sticks out here and that just pumps in and out and there's a little lock so you can push that in and then lock it in so it takes up less space in your bag. So let's pull it apart, see what's inside this thing. I'm hoping it's going to be easy to get into. So it's the general kind of cheapish moulded plastic. Oh yeah, I've got a few screws, so that's good. And how do we actually... Oh, there we go. So if I... There we go. I'll turn the lights out. So there's no batteries or anything in there at all, it seems. So it's just running straight off of the generator. There's no capacitor or anything to smooth out those those sort of flashes when you're pulling the uh, the trigger. So let's pull this apart. We'll see what's inside. We might give it a bit of a, a test, see what voltages we're getting out. And I assume this will carefully... Oh, yeah, there we go. It's coming apart. Like that. All right. Well, there's some thin wires in there. So be careful with that. It looks like the output from the, the generator is just straight on the thin enamel wires. They didn't, they didn't add thicker wires. So, oh yeah, that's that's pretty thin. So I'll get rid of that, and it looks like there's our generator. So it seems like the generator is mostly moulded in, but we've got a ring magnet in there, and that's what rotates, and it's got a one-way clutch as well. So that way, when you squeeze a the trigger, these little teeth here, one there, one there, they're going to flick out and grip into the toothed sort of gear, the inwards facing gear there. But when you release, then this is going to turn the other way, and so you can turn freely, but one way it locks, the other way it comes free. You can kind of see the mechanism working there. Dunk, dunk. So that way it's only going to be spinning in one direction. And then, down here is where our coil is. See if I can get that out without damaging it too much. It looks like it's stuck in there. Don't know if I can get that out. But, I'll hold it up to the camera. And you can just kind of, if that's got to focus, you can see the coil in there. Just, just in there. See the bit of copper wire just at the end of my finger? So that's coiled around like this. So that, that magnet, as it rotates past there, will be uh, inducing, the mag uh, inducing the magnetic field through the wires, and that's going to be causing our electrons to flow. So let's have another look at these LEDs. It looks like they're just standard 5mm white LEDs in there. Nothing too special at all. They're kind of... Oh, yeah, they're wired up in parallel. Yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook this up to my multimeter and we'll see what sort of voltage we get. So I'll put this back together with the front hanging off and we'll just put some wires on and see what voltages we're getting. Okay, so I've got the uh, multimeter connected in, measuring on AC volts because this is putting out an AC voltage and just connect it straight across the LED. So let's see what this thing kicks out. Now, about 3.5 to 4 volts. So that's alright, but that's an AC. It's going to the diodes. Are you relying on the, the LEDs, the fact that they're um, diodes themselves to rectify the voltage. So you might find a bit of an improvement if we put a, uh, a bridge rectifier, maybe even a capacitor to smooth it out, give it a bit of a more of a constant output here. So we might try that. I'll rig up a, a bridge rectifier and a capacitor and see if we can get a more constant output from these LEDs. So here's a schematic of what I've built. 
with our two LEDs here, they were connected in parallel bias the same way. Um, we've got a capacitor which I'm adding and the bridge rectifier and that's the generator there. So the way it used to be connected was these from the generator went straight to the LEDs and there was a switch in, in between. It turns out there is actually some batteries in there too. You can see there. That's going to focus for us. So the way that's connected through this switch is on one side it uses a generator and if you switch it then it will just use battery power. But there's no way for those uh, batteries to be recharged. It's just if the batteries run out and you still need it, you throw it away and buy a new one, which is a little bit, a little bit rubbish. But I'm going to pull those batteries out, and I'll probably put my little bridge rectifier and my um, capacitor inside that space. All right, so here's our finished product. You can see we've got our diodes here, and our capacitor at the back there. Leads coming around to the LEDs, and then if I bring that apart where my fingers wave in there you can see just the thin wires coming into the generator which is that green bit in there so let's see what voltage we get out of this thing so I've got it hooked up after the bridge rectifier measuring DC voltage and we'll give it a spin so pretty much three volts it's a little bit less than before but that's no big deal because with the AC waveform that we're getting before the dies are only conducting on half of that AC waveform when they were uh, forward biased. When they are reverse biased, they turn off. But now that we're getting 100% you know, turn on time because they're always forward biased, we're getting double the, uh, the light output, minus a bit because of the lower voltage, but the net light output is, gr is greater than before. So that's still okay. All right, so now we've got it finished. We can put this thing together and see how it works. Click that lid on there. Look at that. Nice and bright. I'll turn the light off. And not too bad. You can see how it's still kind of flashing because the um, the capacitor isn't fully charging up. But hey, it's a bit of improvement on what was in there. So I'm going to count that as a win. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>